I will never stop digging. I will make the deepest oh, I hole cloaked. I can. What? I, I cloaked and I still got hit twice. Oh, very sorry. No, you're not. Don't <laughs> lie to me. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, Jack, any advice for some casual board games for my family game night? Casual. Uh, Munchkin is, is a nice, easy game to get people going. Uh, if if you don't want to spend any money on a board game, you could always play a game like Werewolf or Mafia, as it's also called, where you can just use a deck of cards. And, you know, that's basically like a lying board game where you all get different characters and then everyone, like, you know, closes their eyes and the bad guy opens his eyes. We, we played a game like that recently called The Resistance. Rich, have you ever played that? No. Where, How does where that one work? There, there's the resistance, and then there's the evil federation, and the resistance is trying to win, and the evil federa federation has spies, and then the spies try to plot against the resistance, mm -hmm. and so everyone lowers their head and closes their eyes, and then the two spies look up and and acknowledge each other, and then without signaling that they're the spies to each other, they have to kind of work together to dismantle the resistance. And it's it's all basically just lying to each other. It's fun. Okay. It's a fun it's a fun little excuse that to try to lie. That teaches your kids how to lie. It teaches your kids how to lie correctly. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> um, depending on the age of your family, we've been playing with uh, with my six year old Catan Junior which is kind of a light version of Settlers of Catan, which is very fun. Kind of teaches them the basics of the trading mechanic of Catan. Very nice. Uh, we've also been working on a simplified version of um, Attack on Tokyo. Or what is that? Can, did you play that with us, Rich? The no. Killer of, uh, anyway, I don't remember. Uh, so guess what? It doesn't matter. Um, you're so wrong about Voyager that it hurts. Whatever. <laughs> Listen, opinions. These are mine. <sighs> Fuck. Um, Jack, if you have a tabletop simulator on Steam, you can play a betrayal at House on the Hill. Oh, that's great to know. King of Tokyo. Thank you, Balfour. King of Tokyo. There's a game called King of Tokyo where you all, where you each play as giant monsters and you try to take over. Um. You try to destroy all the other monsters. It's a really fun game. We've been working on kind of simplified rules of that so uh, a kid could play. All right, this so. is gonna be this is gonna be harsh. <clears throat> My door room has no oxygen in it, and okay. it's also it's also damaged. So I can't close the doors to to, to seal you know to, to keep the oxygen. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a tricky repair job. I can do it. Okay. I gotta stagger people in and out of here. Okay. Uh, my favorite cards against humanity card. Uh, I don't have one because I don't like cards against humanity. Oh, I didn't even have to. All right. That could have gotten much worse. No, good. Uh, that's good. Oh, that's great. Thank you for the link to the Betrayal Steam game. Um, there's also King of New York. Great. I think I talked. This might we might have talked about this on an on an earlier stream. I don't like apples to apples. Oh, I hate I apples to apples. And I don't like Cards Against Humanity for the same reason. Um, they're not games. You know, they're not actual games. I think. They're, they're games with very subjective rule base, and so they're they're not consistent games. And Cards Against Humanity is basically a vulgarity simulator. It's, it's an excuse to stand around and say awful things to each other. And to me, I don't need the cards. I can just stand around in a group of people and we can say awful things and that's fun enough. I just like, so it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me, Cards Against Humanity. Fire in my oxygen room. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, here's another controversial decision from Jack: is I don't like Cards Against Humanity. I just don't understand it. 
Because why not just get into an awful, vulgar conversation with your friends and laugh about the things you make up in your head uh, rather than read things that other people have made up? Like, you can do it yourself. It's more fun that way. find at the store. <clears throat> the shields, 125. For the record. Mm -hmm. Drone recovery armor. Obviously, obviously, I don't have drone control, but... What's droid recovery? What, 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 drone what, drone what, recovery what, arm? That means yeah. uh, at the end no, of the I mean, battle, you, you get drones back. You don't you don't use them up. If, if they weren't destroyed, they go back yeah. into your reserve. Yeah. But what good would it do you if you don't have drone control? Well, I could buy one later. Oh, sure. It's easier to find the uh, drone control than it is the drone recovery arm. <laughs> but right now, I think it would just be a bad use of money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, user 27721. Penises, that's very good. Good job. <laughs> That's very clever. It is. That's funny. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm completely cut off from the exit from here. Oh, this is bullshit. Oh. <sighs> fuck! <laughs> oh. If this, if this fails, we're done for the night. Mm -hmm. I gave it three shots. Yeah. Yeah. Not my night. <laughs> Definitely not my fucking night. I think... Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry oh. that this was not your night. <laughs> <laughs> the name of that lion game is called The Resistance. Um, and the basics of the game is, you know, we were playing with five people. So three people were part of the resistance and two people were spies. And so then what happens is you take turns choosing a team. And let's say I have to choose three people who are on my team. Oh, I now, don't I don't have to meet the fleet. Just barely. Ooh, oh, job. that's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I have to choose three people who are going to be on my team and then those three people um, anonymously choose for the mission to fail or succeed and if one of them is a spy they want the mission to fail and so I need to figure, try to figure out who's a spy and who's part of the resistance uh, in order to get all my missions to succeed and so then like if a mission fails, there's a little math involved. So it's like, okay, I know one of those three people was a spy, but I don't know which three. And so then the three people have to kind of make their case. And it's 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 a nice little fun game. And you know, it's what's extra fun is when you play with the same group a couple times, you get to know people's lying patterns. It's it's really fun. They want to surrender. They're offering me six missiles. I have. No missile launchers. You, th Fuck you think you think I should accept their offer? <laughs> Absolutely. Just to see what happens. You should take their missiles and then shoot. Oh, them. oh! I accidentally clicked blow them up. <laughs> oh, I got, I, I got, I got almost, I got like a lot more scrap. Oh, great. One fuel. No, no missiles though. I didn't ah, get yes. any missiles that way. Oh, good. H Hello, Draco. You are right. The Resistance is more fun than Mafia because everybody plays every round of the Resistance. You're absolutely right. That's more fun. Hi, my name is Space Cop. You're welcome for signing I'm Jack on your Space Cop poster. That's how I sign stuff. I sign it with I'm Jack. <laughs> he does. I do. He does. Because it's I thought the, it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. I thought it was funny, and I still think it's funny. <laughs> what's what's the key word here, everyone? What's the key? What? <laughs> think. Think. <laughs> it's 
so obviously I'm wrong. This is the <laughs> this is the real thing. Oh, that was bad. Hmm. Didn't hit my cloak soon enough. Yes, you're. What's uh, when you cloak? I think some people are confused about your cloaking ability. It just adds to your evasiveness. Yeah, yeah. People, there's still a, a small percentage that they can hit you, but it just helps you evade to where it's, you know, almost certain that they won't. But yeah, you could. Um, is that going to hit another room? Yes, it is. I don't know. Not except for surrender. I need scrap. Uh, I shot first. No, not Mafia, the P the PlayStation 2 game. There, there's a simple card game called Mafia. It's uh, Another way to play it is where it's called Werewolf. And it's just a very simple game that you, you can basically use a deck of cards to determine how it plays. You don't need any game pieces. It's like a party game. I do know what day it is. It's Sunday. You know why I know that? Because we're streaming. I, the only <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason we know that. It's the only reason I know what day it is. We're streaming. And I'm streaming from home, so it must be Sunday or else I'd be at the studio. All right, we're not doing so bad this time. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. No, no. Nothing wrong. I was just making a joke. Oh no! <laughs> Is it Monday there already? Oh, I suppose in in uh in 22 minutes it'll be Monday, but for us it is still Sunday. It's 11:38 p.m. here, so it is still Sunday for us. Central Standard Time. Um, I I have no specific whiskey preference. User two seven seven two two one. I don't drink much hard alcohol anymore, so I'm not like a whiskey connoisseur. I'm sure it's fine. Any sort of rail whiskey and coke is fine with me. It's 6.38 a.m. Monday here. Oh, my God, Cosper. Go to bed or go to work or what are you, what are you what doing are you, up so early? What are you like? getting out of this? <laughs> what the fuck? Rich Evans, thank you for subscribing. Oh I God. really appreciate it. Rich, I really appreciate you subscribing. <laughs> it, it means so much to me that you would care. you would care, you care enough to do that. <laughs> you guys should advertise as streaming four days of the week oh my god you're totally right um we are doing by the way someone someone was asking me on twitter about our early european stream next sunday we are doing our early european friendly stream what what time did we agree upon again was it i think we said i think noon we said or one, one. One? I think it was at one. Obviously, like we'll probably get to the studio at noon to uh, set everything up. But I think we are starting at one o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. So that is a full yes, in, six seven hours before we normally start. In in honor of our European friends, we will be playing football games, and yep. then in honor of the Super Bowl, we will also be playing football games. <laughs> Yes. Yes. All these things. Much amusement will be had by how little we know about either sport, mm -hmm. but especially football. <laughs> the the Super Bowl stream. Unfriendly Australian New Zealand stream. I mean, it can't, our our stream can't be more unfriendly than it is now for anyone who's from Australia or New Zealand. I can't imagine. Or maybe it is. I don't know. All right. Who wants to be a boring old human being? <laughs> I mean, all of them. On the ship that's totally not going to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants it? Who wants With a pizza it? roll. With a pizza roll. 
It's for what subscribers. Do, this is the perk. What do, what do they need to say? Or they just need to say, I want to be on your team? Me. Somebody said me, and that was RLM reference. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. RLM You're going to be our janitor. <laughs> <laughs> go wait in the janitorial closet, because that's what that symbol means. This little closet door. <laughs> You're our janitor. <laughs> Get to work. Mop some floors, you scallywag. You say scallywag in the future? Of course, everybody does. But do they <laughs> stop saying that at some point? <laughs> oh, you crazy 2000ers. Not using scallywag. It's all the rage. Get on the trolley. <laughs> that one's been done to death. We don't say that anymore. <laughs> 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 They got sick of Scallywag in the year 2416. Here's a good question uh, from the Rock Creations. Rick, Rich and Jay, other than working at Red Letter Media, <laughs> do you guys have other jobs? Well, first of all, Tree Rock Creations, this is Jack. <laughs> I'm, I'm here with Rich. I think people are used to Jay being here. Jay usually Jay's um, usually Wednesday. here for the Wednesday yeah. streams. Um so that's fine. But we talked about this. Rich's only job is Red Letter Media. Yeah. Which includes things like previously recorded. Um I also or you know, I don't work for Red Letter Media at all. Mm -hmm. I do my own video if production. We keep telling them to go home. <laughs> and they I won't just, leave. I just don't. Um, so, <laughs> um, obviously, you know, thanks to your kind subscriptions, I I get a little bit of money from these live streams, and I do my own video production work. So I work full time as a freelance video producer and editor. And then, you know, help out with Best of the Worst and other filming stuff for Red Letter Media. So, what? This is what we got. It's true. They fired, yeah, they fired me um, the same day that I met Jay and Mike, which is the first, um, <laughs> the first time I shot with them. <laughs> For the Grabowskis, they they had me come in to play Frank Hammer on the Grabowskis, and after we were done shooting, they fired me, and I just kept coming back. So, I did. I, I'm a homeless man, and I wandered into RLM one day. <laughs> Could be happen to you too. Mm -hmm. You could also be fired by RLM. <laughs> I just got there and I said, "Hi, I'm Jack." Yep, and I and I just don't leave. That's what happened. That's exactly what happened. Still don't have enough for yeah, freelance editing gadgets. But I got 89. I'm yeah. J just editing. I don't get my money just from editing. Like you know, someone hands me footage and says, "Edit this." Mostly, it's in producing. You know, and so it's like. I, I have a production company with my brother, and we work for local businesses and larger businesses creating TV commercials, web content, uh, in-house like uh, promotional stuff. You know, where someone like a, the president of a corporation wants to make a video for them to show to all of his employees or at functions like that. It's all very boring. It's all very, very boring stuff. So... Oh, I wish it was okay to do something stupid. Do it. Do something stupid. I know. <laughs> no. They've got the Vulcan at the store. Oh. Oh. Does not does not uh, synergize well at all with my cloaking. Because one oh. shot will one shot will take me out of cloak. Sure. And that thing needs to shoot a lot before it gets up to speed. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> god damn it! I never run into the cloak. I mean, the Vulcan. Oh. Never. Mm -hmm. Never. <laughs> ah, I'm fuck! I'm very, very sorry. 
Automated Reloader. That does synergize well. Um, two questions in a row. Jack, why won't you grow that sweet beard again? Because I, I like the, the whole shaved look. I think it works for me. And um, Jack, do you like your job? Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. I, you ha you kind of have to because it consumes a lot of your time when you work freelance and when you work in as competitive an industry as I work in. And I, I enjoy it even on jobs I don't enjoy. I enjoy it. If that makes any sense. Jack, the producer, I also heard you made videos for Funny or Die. Yeah, Funny or Die was a, a client of mine and I would make videos for them. Uh, I haven't made one for them in a while, but they've kind of gone a different direction with more in-house producers. So, and that's fine. I still have a good relationship with them. Who, Funny or Die? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I still like all those guys. I see them often uh, whenever I'm in Los Angeles and know many people who still work there and we keep in contact. But they have, they've moved to an entirely in-house system where before they were kind of farming stuff out to freelancers and working more with a wide community of producers and now it's all in-house so which is fine it sounds like jack makes future wheel of the worst videos some of them yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean see, that's literally it's like sometimes that's what a client is looking for where they're like i i have this product and i just need to show what this product does to new employees so they know what our product does and it's like okay so that's what i do <laughs> oh, jack i need i need to save up money for shields and whatnot but there's a scrap really recovery do. there's a scrap recovery arm here a school yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it wait wait that was an automatic reloader what there was I an automated reloader you was looking at you were looking at my cell screen oh i've, I've, oh. I've got an automatic reloader Okay, great, great. There you go. <laughs> great. Mm. Um, do I travel a lot for work? Yes. Not, you know, not... I, I don't know. What's a lot? I, I travel multiple times a year for work. Yes. Go here, go there. I consult a lot for videos. 30 scrap for a random mission. Nice. Um... And that's sometimes tough when I, a lot of times, like, I'll, I'll come in to consult on a job where they just want me to, like, punch up a script or be there to help add comedy to it. And sometimes I don't know exactly what the project is until I get there, so it's hard to be funny. But, yeah, you know, go, go here, go there. It's always fun. Okay, we now have a Mantis crew member. Ooh, nice. I'm going to give him to the first subscriber that does not want to be on my ship. Oh, so the first person that says not me? Yep. Okay. <laughs> people who haven't heard them yet, there's a few people who are saying me, me, me. Yep, yep. The corpse a lot says noie me, N O I E. I don't know how to. Oh, here, no, he he just did it first. The corpse lot says not me. Hey, okay, okay. Yep. So who was that? That was corpse a lot. That was the corpse a lot. <laughs> corpse or corpse? What was that? Uh, C O R P. Yeah. Okay. I have just double check. E A L O T. <laughs> he was quick with the typing. That corpse a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna demand the surrender of your goods, sir. Yep. Be prepared to secure the cargo by force. Here we go. Oh, sure. Uh, tales of interest. Jack, any words of advice to a creative type stuck in a no motivation lull? How do you get yourself motivated? Um, well, for me, that's how I eat. And so if I don't make things, I don't eat. Uh, so that <laughs> that motivates oh, me. Oh, ow! Yep, and see, Rich knows. You know? <laughs> no, but seriously. Fuck! 
Um, it's... I, I have no real advice. You just have to do something. Even if you don't want to, even if what you think you're doing is going to be terrible because you're not feeling the creative juices, you have to do something anyway. An object at rest tends to remain at rest, and an object in motion tends to remain in motion. You know what that is? That's fucking physics right there. Ooh, God, on the way out, they sent me a final fuck you shot. Oh. <laughs> that's, and that's what exactly what'll happen if you're not motivated. They'll give you that fuck you shot. <laughs> oh, that was not a good battle. You know, they're all battles. <laughs> Sorry, Rich, I keep trying, taking your game thing and trying to make it as if you're talking. You know, that's fine. I appreciate That's my that. shtick. That's my shtick right now, I think. I think it's funny. So so that's the real thing, is, is motiv motivation is all in your head. And I have a couple projects that I work on, like writing exercises or or editing special effects videos or just the stuff that I do when I'm not feeling the project I'm working on just to keep me moving. And that's that's the hardest part is you have to keep moving. Even if you think it sucks, you can always fix it later. That's the one thing, uh, the one really great piece of advice that I found is you can always go back and fix it. Just do something, write something down. It's so great. Inertia, that's right. That's bad physics. That's good physics. Laws of physics equal human psyche. It's really true. It's really, really true. And yeah, I'm, I'm all self-taught. I, I've never, I didn't go to school for filmmaking. I didn't take any classes. I just started learning. I just started making videos and then eventually people gave me money to make videos, which is great. Oh, Ion Storm? Fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck! <laughs> I hate nebulas! <laughs> Fuck! <sighs> Ooh, that's right. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. You sure, man? You can... You can edit bad work. You can't edit no work. That's true. The, the worst movie is better than the best idea because it's done. Right? All right, a lot of scrap and a bomb. Could be worse, could be worse. Mm-hmm. Saying that a lot this run, aren't I? I mean, but, but you're still going. You are still going. And that's the real thing. Uh, and no user 277221. I've never made porn. I did uh, apply to be a an editor for pornography. Really? Yeah, because, you know, freelance. And so it's just like always just try to find the next job. That's, that's the name of the game. And so, you know, there was one particular lull where I just didn't have any work. And needed to look something, so I'm looking at, I'm checking all the, the, the kind of the production message boards, Craigslist, all those spaces, just like, okay, you know, putting out my resume to all sorts of places because I had no work at the time. You know what I found helps? Huh. When your best friend makes a web video that gets five million hits. <laughs> I mean, that's always a boost. Yeah? You yeah. Think that'll help? Yeah, I think that'll help. That does, by the way. That really does help when when you get when you get a success like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I I put in my I put in my resume to a company who is making pornography, and I said, you know, sure, I'll I'll do it. I'll I'll have to, you know, edit it while the kids sleep because they can't watch me. You know, they can't oh, accidentally yeah, watch it. <laughs> And then uh, I was talking back and forth with this guy, and he said, "You know, we have, um, we have a you know a bunch of different 
we have a bunch of different footage, and it would include man on man gay pornography. Uh huh. And he's like, "Is that something you'd be comfortable with?" And I thought about it for a long time, and I did what every freelancer does, which is, sure, yep, I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, you know, which Anything is like... Anything for money, huh? Uh, again, Rich, I really enjoy eating. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I absolutely said I would. Uh, I, I never ended up doing it. Uh, they, the company uh, went under. <laughs> what were they called? I have to I, know. I don't remember. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. But, uh, you know, I, that's what you do. When you, when you are a freelancer, you work for yourself and you never stop working or else you don't work anymore. But uh, I did. I, I said I would, which, you know, who knows how long I would have been able to do it, by the way, where it's like I probably would have gotten into my first scene and just like, ah, I can't, I just can't, I can't. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, Jack, Jack, this edit's really great, but there seems to be a lot less um, fucking than we were expecting. <laughs> Anyway, you could, uh, I don't know, fix that. No, no can't do it. So. <laughs> I thought I'd uh, try something uh, different. Uh, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Right, we're going to get my mantis some kills. Yeah, do it good. Yeah, all right. Kill some people. Death, yay, death. <laughs> oh, how I long for death. That's right. Jack is a homeless person who has a sign that reads, We'll watch gay porn for food, right? You're my door guy. <coughs> right? Would I put that job on my resume? If, I mean, if I would have done it, you know, depending on what the next resume was. <laughs> if it was a resume for another pornography company, absolutely. If it was a resume for any other company, I would say no. <laughs> that sounds logical. Right? Right? No, you know, I've, I've done a lot of weird jobs in the, in the freelance market. Has, has Rich ever done porn? I was actually given a large amount of money not to. Yeah, <laughs> you walked into. Yeah, uh, they just they just here take this go away. You, wa you walked into the Brazers head office, <laughs> started unbuttoning your shirt. Oh God, no, no! And they're no. and you're like, so where's that checkbook? And they started writing furiously. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I might, might be able to afford shields. Ah, uh, see, this is the thing, Animus Primal. Um, Animus Primal says, Jack, did Mike know about your porn past before he hired you? Ag again, I'm not a Red Letter Media employee, so I don't know if, if Mike or Jay ever knew about that. Maybe. I, I'm sure I told them. That's, it's, that's just a fun story. But, and it's, a, it's an especially fun story because I never actually edited porn. It would be different if I was like, yeah, and then I, I did, did it. And then yeah. I did it. It felt weird, but they gave me money. <laughs> I know I'm going to buy these shields, and then I'm going to head to the other store. Mm -hmm. They're going to have something amazing. Though that chain ion's pretty good, too. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> that costs too much to power it, though. Mm. Unless, unless I switch gears... And I take the glaive offline for a while. I go with the pike beam. And the chain I am. <laughs> and the chain I am. I can tell you. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, people are just asking for more freelancer stories. Um, so, you know, like I also, you know, I. 
Well, real, real quick, I want to interject. Somebody yeah. said Red Letter Media sounds like a porn company. Mm -hmm. We often wonder what the post office thinks of us because <laughs> we're sure. in there all the time just dumping off boatloads of these packages of CDs, you know, of, of DVDs. <laughs> and our name is Red Letter Media. And we think that the local post office thinks we do pornography. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it could be very possible. It's not, I, I see people saying red light media. Re, if it was red light media, that's 100% a porn company. Red letter media. <laughs> Could have been, but uh. What, what age did Rich lose his virginity? You know, oh. technically, I was in a vagina on the day I was born. Think about that one. No. No. <laughs> that's that's not a good place to start this rich. That's oh god. Help me. <laughs> that's just that's a not a good place to go. <laughs> Um, another freelancer story is someone asked me to shoot um, a segment for uh, a, a television segment. And, you know, I'm just a general freelancer. So, you know, I, I shoot, write, edit. And I do a little bit of everything. And so I said, sure, you know, do you, do you also want me to edit? And then, no, no, we just need you to shoot, shoot the segment and hand over the footage. No problem. And cameras, professional grade cameras use a very different format of video than uh, like a consumer grade camera, just like if you shoot something with your iPhone. And so I, I show up to the shoot and the town's there and the town was like reading books to kids. And that's all, all I have to shoot is, you know, town reading books to kids, you know, we mic them up, but they read the books, easy peasy, very simple shoot. And the person and then you know says okay here's a hard drive put all the footage on the hard drive and then i'll meet you the next day give me the stuff and i was like oh great actually i brought my laptop i can have the footage to you and it'll take about an hour to transfer all the footage great no problem so you quick do that give them the lab give them the hard drive everything's great nice easy paycheck uh, i then spend the next two weeks trying to talk this person who is producing a segment for television how to use my footage. Even though this is like standard professional codec, they're not used to it on their end. And I keep saying, let me edit this for you. It'll be much easier. Apparently you don't know what you're doing. No, 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 no. Just let, I, what do I need? What do I need? I need this, I need this. It was the most infuriating thing ever working with that person. It's not like, so yeah, when you shoot with a camera, it's not just a dot .mov file. It's, you know, it's, it's different. It's in different wrappers. I was shooting with a Panasonic camera on P2 cards. It was, it was a big deal. And so, but they had told me they knew what they were doing and they did not. And so what should have been a five, six hour shoot turned into two weeks of phone conferences. It was terrible. MXF. Yep, you're right. That was the Panasonic P2 MXF bullshit. It's a weird wrapper. It comes in like two different files and or actually like eight different files, audio, video, thumbnail, and it's all pushed together in this really awful thing. And I kept trying to be very polite with them because, you know, obviously as a freelancer, you hope that one job will lead to the next, will lead to the next. And ugh. Gyach. 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 Mm. Mm. Um, Turbo Jesus, I've only played Smash Up a couple times, so I don't have a favorite deck combo. So, sorry, I cannot be more help. Um... Just in general, someone asked how I got into editing. Um, I did not go to film school. Uh, I got 
into editing just because it was, I don't know, a way to make my things. I, I started making, I started in comedy, just doing like stand up and comedy bits. And then eventually as the internet grew, people were filming those bits. And so I needed to film my own bits. And I didn't have anyone else around to edit them. So I started editing my bits. <laughs> so it goes, right? Um, and it's really just that simple. And I started editing it and I enjoyed it. I'm what? sorry, that's right. I'm sorry, that can't be a more interesting story. <laughs> I started, you know, my, my cousin, uh, who I did comedy with, uh, is much, uh, he, he went to film school. And so I would hang around with his group a lot. And so we would just start shooting stuff and then, they would edit and I would kind of learn a little bit from them and pick it up as I went along. It was great. It was super great. Got 135 scrap to spend at the storage app. Okay. Oh, that's a good amount of scrap. Crew teleporter? Crew Flack. teleporter. Oh yeah, flack in the house. Flag in the house. No, none of my stand-up is posted anywhere. I, I did my stand-up before video can video on cell phones was a, a normal thing. So, luckily, none of my stand-up routines are immortalized anywhere, which is great for me. We're going with flag. Yeah, flagging it up. Flagging it up. Flag up in your house. Flagging it up. <laughs> you know, Pizza Guy, Lull XD, Premiere, Adobe Premiere is becoming the standard, but many major companies still use Final Cut 7. I was just having a conversation with a buddy of mine who works for a, a trailer house, the, the company that makes trailers for movies. And they still use Final Cut 7, and their editors are starting the transition over to Premiere Pro now, but still mostly use um, the Final Cut 7, which is shocking to me. Flung it in up! Just a little bit too early on that cloak. I'm gonna get hit with that uh, laser beam. Blaster, actually. Whatever, mm -hmm. it is. Whatever it is, I'm gonna get hit. Mm -hmm. And that is not cool. Oh! Oh, I'm good. It, it didn't get through. No, one, one, one missed. The other hit my new shields. Great. But I'm not gonna be so lucky with that missile. Oh, I oh. am! Oh, thank Ooh. God for piloting. Nice. Thank God for piloting. Everything's coming up the house. <laughs> good. Good. Uh, Cinnamon. Do you have uh, asked if I have any intentions on doing a feature film at some point? Yes, I would very much like to. Um, more on the writing end, I have written a couple. And I have not written one in a while, but I, I enjoy writing scripts. And I would like to eventually make my own feature-length movie. I think that would be very fun. I like movies. And I might make a good movie, but, you know, probably not. <laughs> I've gotten so used to making internet videos. I think it would be very difficult for me to make a movie, but that's why I want to. I want to challenge myself. I don't remember many of my stand-up jokes, so I can't do any for you. But it wasn't good. I was no good at it. My timing was all off. What? Is Sony Vegas any good? I don't know. I've never used Sony Vegas. So I'm very sorry. Um, and I cannot tell you if you should train. I, I use Premiere and I love it. Um, you can more so. I love that you get the entire Adobe suite for 50 bucks a month. And I think when it starts off, you get it all for 30 bucks a month. 
which is an incredible price for Premiere, Final Cut, Photoshop, Illustrator, just everything you could ever need. Um, the entire suite for making for a very small price. But, you know, it's whatever works for you. Rich Gun Jumper Evans? What? What does that mean? Where did I jump the gun on? I don't know. I don't. It's apparently no. something. <laughs> would I make a feature film starring Rich Evans? Absolutely. Why would you want to do that? Uh, because you're around. <laughs> <laughs> Acceptable answer is accepted. <laughs> um, that's, you know... There are, I have, um, I have scripts that, you know, would require a budget, but sometimes, you know, you just need to look around you and say, what do I have available? <laughs> One of those things is Rich Evans. One of those things is Rich Evans, who I legitimately believe to be a good actor. Rich, I think you are a good actor. I think you're a better <sighs> actor than you give yourself credit for. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I think you are. Uh, and so I, I need to think to myself, like, who do I have around who can act? Because that's always the hardest part is finding an actor. And I got you and I have I have some other uh, people I can rely on. So, yes, secretly I've been filming Rich for the past 12 years. <laughs> nice. Um... And so... I, I have been working on an idea uh, that I've been starting to write stuff down for that would star Rich Evans. I'm not ready to talk about it yet, though, as it will probably go nowhere. Because a lot of times I'll just come up with an idea and as a writing exercise, write down a couple pages just to keep my brain fresh. Rich Evans is America's sweetheart. You're right. John B. A. Twenty says, "Jack, everything is possible, right?" That's true, John B. A. Twenty. Everything is possible. An object in motion tends to remain in motion. That's all you got to remember. That's all you got to remember. So if you just keep doing stuff, then eventually you'll do it. Ride is alright with me, right? Rich is good. <laughs> uh, Turbo Jesus uh, do wants a Dr. Mario and Surgeon Simulator stream. Sure. I, I do want to play Surgeon Simulator. I think someone gifted it to me. I, I have it. I just own it. I bought it a while ago. It sounded amusing. Octo-J, you're right. An object in motion tends to remain in motion unless an outside force is applied, but I feel like a lot of the forces that would stop you are not actual forces. They're made-up forces. So then you just got to give yourself another little push forward. Keep pushing. When are you publishing your book of motivational sayings? They're not my sayings. <laughs> I just I just take stuff and I write it down and put it on my wall to motivate me. And then when I need motivations, I look up at my wall of stuff that has writings on it, and I say, that's right. That's fucking right. <laughs> okay. Do you not do that? Obviously not, because you're laughing at me. But <laughs> Motivational anything? No. No? Yeah, sometimes it helps. It gives me I, a little I don't believe in motivation. You do, it. you do what you do because you have to do it. That's a cruel, dark, grim world. Ah, oh, no, no. Because it's a cruel, dark, grim world. That's true. It's a cruel, dark, grim world. Unless you're motivated. <laughs> Lessonsoflife.com, right? Oh, wow. 
can't get through their shields. All right. <laughs> Jack the Love Guru? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I do not have a poster of a cat on my wall. <laughs> oh, uh, Rich, they're saying if you switch the order your weapons are in, uh, if if your weapons get hit, the it won't restart the beam charge. Did you do that? If I switch the order they're in? Well, it, it, it goes from right to left, so it actually would hit the glaive if I switched them first, right? Ooh, I think you're right, yeah. Yeah. It, hit, it, it hits the flak first and then the glaive. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I might have to flee this one. I mean, you know, do what you can. Do what you oh, can. Oh, they all hit. I get to maul them. Ooh, good. Good. Uh, am I channeling Ayn Rand? Ayn. That's how you pronounce that. Ayn Rand. There's debate. I don't know that they're sure. No, she did. She there's a, she wrote a note to someone. Really? Yeah. And she it's Ayn. I'm going to call her Ayn Rand because fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she was a bit harsh. <laughs> She was a bit harsh on some things. <laughs> Ayn Rand was funny, where, where it was like, you know, everyone, everyone should, uh, should do whatever they want to do only if they're the absolute best in their field all the time. <laughs> her books are funny. I think her books are funny. Do you like... Do you like men who are so good at what they do, they don't listen to anyone else, and they end up winning because they're the best at everything? Yeah, Ayn Rand. <laughs> That's literally what her books are about. No, I never read that, Lestrade. I, I read uh, The Fountainhead. And I enjoyed The Fountainhead because it was about a, a guy who didn't listen to anyone else because he was the smartest, most handsome, best worker best architect ever and he always won because he was the best at everything ever <laughs> so it's a funny book mm -hmm. fearful sludge boy are you dissing on nancy farmer because if you is we gonna have words the only the only Nancy Farmer book I I know is a super great book called The Ear, the Eye, and the Arm, and that's a that's one of my favorite childhood books, The Ear, the Eye, and the Arm. It's beautiful. It's about it's about a group of South African children who run away from home and go missing, and so their they their their parents hire a supernatural detective agency. Man, it's great. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I want a Lannis crew, me crew member? What do the Lannis do again? Uh, they suck oxygen out of any room they're in. Ooh. Or 39 scrap. Ooh. I mean, how much could you use an extra crew member? Not especially much, though... Oh. Oh, fuck it, take the scrap. That could be useful for a boarding strategy, but I'd want two before I fucked around with that, at least. Sure. <laughs> is that your thinking noise? Is that, is yeah, that your... that's my new thinking noise. <laughs> Oh, God. That's a terrible thinking noise. 
That no, hurts my No brain. one in the chat wants the... Oh, interesting. Take the scrap. Has has general consensus on the Lattice become that they're they're terrible? I mean... All no, right. I see, a, I see a couple Lannis. I see a couple Lannis. I Lannis. saw a lot of don't do it. All right, we'll take the scrap. Sure. The chat has spoken! <laughs> spoken! Yeah, and Rand came out of extreme communism as a child, so, like, she, she had that work ethic, but she also, like, is a self Oh, God! God. What happened? A, a shitload of fucking drone ships. Oh. Oh, God. I might just power up my engines and flee to that nearby store. I'm not fucking around with this shit. Yeah, 100%. Get out of there. Oh, God. The engines aren't charging fast enough, Jack. What am I going to do? The fire missiles. All your missiles. Fire them. <laughs> Jack, I hate you sometimes. I could see that. I could 100% see that. They would be perfect for fire in your oxygen room. Oh my god, Rich. They're totally right. You should have got that Lannis and put him in your oxygen room. No, no time talk. Talk bad. Talk bad. Getting destroyed. Oh god. This might be it. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to get out of here quickly. God oh, no. damn it! Oh no, did you die? God damn it! Oh no! <laughs> oh. Are you gonna die? Did I'm you die? Dead. I'm dead. It's over. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rich. Eh, it's a fine run. Is it? <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't it? a victory, but I. I. Uh, let me see. If, let's look at my stats. Where did I? How far did I get? Why isn't it telling me? God damn it! I don't know. Have I? I've never won. Oh wait. Well, this doesn't have my other saves though. This is all weird information. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure I've beaten it with that ship on above easy. <laughs> You're right, it's the curse of Ayn Rand. We started talking about Ayn Rand and your ship blew up, Rich. <laughs> we should know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that'll you know what? That'll learn you. That'll learn you right there. Uh, well, we're gonna end it with the pleasant tones of FTL. I like that. I like the pleasant tones of FTL. I got far enough to feel good, though. It wasn't like those early runs where I got destroyed. So sure, that's good. That's good. And you're right, user two seven seven two two one. Why do we fall down? That's that's a good question. What do we do when we fall? Ah. Uh. That's funny. Will you ever stream Civilization? They they have they have the last four letters capitalized for absolutely no re reason. Civilization. Civilization. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Civilization. Civilization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, RLM reference. You were an excellent janitor. That ship blew up, but it blew up clean. Mm -hmm. Spotless. <laughs> Spotless, <laughs> shiny flakes of chrome are now scattered throughout the universe. People will pass these scraps of burnt metal and say, wow, that's clean. I could eat off of that if it weren't floating in space. Rich, would you be willing to accept $5,000 if I were to fly down to Milwaukee so that you can smother me between your thighs until I turn blue? Nothing gay, just an MMA-style leg lock. Um, uh, sure. <laughs> sure, I'll do that for $5,000. As, as, as long as there's nothing gay about it. I'm, I what? am engaged. Is this a cash up front? <laughs> offer? Oh, definitely. Yes, cash up front. Yes. Cash up front. Okay. 
So there's no guarantee on shade of blue or amount of time. I'm going to be your manager here, Rich, and uh, say... You, yeah, you handle all the details. I'll cut you in for 10%. Perfect. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're done. We're done for the night chat. But you're right, Master of Orion. It's about time I stream that game. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna guarantee next time I'll play Master of Orion. Mm -hmm. But coming soon. Coming okay. soon. Great. We'll get some mood two in here. Okay, I'm down. Uh, I'm 100% down with the Master of Orion. I, is there a Farscape the game? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I there is. I haven't played it. Oh sure. I mean, it's ancient kind of game. Uh, I'm sure it's <laughs> I'm sure it's terrible. <laughs> right, right. We probably won't play that. Y yes, I am engaged to a woman, a a human woman. A human woman. She if, was. I don't know. She was. A, she was part of the fucking stream last Wednesday. Apparently, you weren't here. <laughs> for anyone, for anyone who who skipped out on the last stream, you did not get to meet the fiancé. Yeah, she was in here. She was chatting with everybody, and she was charming. And it was a lovely stream. Yes. So I told you she wants. She she kind of wants to do it again. She wants to. Oh do, my Lord. She wants to play um, Monster Party for the for the for the NES. Yeah. The NES. And then uh, I think she wants to do bookworm adventures, which she is just <laughs> she is so she is so good at bookworm adventures that uh -huh. people will think she's using a cheat device. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh sure. She'll, she said, "Well, I'll just show them my my Hall of Fame scores, and then oh, I'm legit." And I'm like, "No, then they'll really think you're cheating." <laughs> yeah, we should have her back. I agree. Schedule in uh, three months from now. We'll <laughs> no, we'll have it back, of course. Yeah. It'll be fun. So is is there anything we need to talk about? I, don't, I mean, before we end the stream, probably yeah. not. Nah, then fuck it. End it. Well, I mean, before we go, I think we should uh, re-advertise the weird start time next Sunday. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. You're right. Because uh, on, on Super Bowl Sunday... Mm-hmm. Because it it's going to be the night of the Super Bowl, and I don't imagine we'll get that many people from from the U.S. here. I'm imagining most of you guys are going to want to watch the Super Bowl. So what mm -hmm. we've what we've decided to do is we're going to do a Eurocentric stream because a the Europeans they don't care about the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and and b if we well, that means we'll be starting earlier so we might get some u.s viewers too some of you might show up if we start earlier mm -hmm. so we're gonna start on sunday at one in the afternoon 1 p.m central standard time for the europeans so they can so they can have some fun too yes and to give you some context in case you're unaware of time zones normally on sundays we start at 8 30 p.m central standard. yes Yes. So be starting significantly earlier. So it's like evening there, right? I don't know. I don't know times. We don't know times. <laughs> People have asked us for earlier. This is as earlier. This is Rich will literally be waking up, rolling out of bed, and coming to the studio. That's how early. <laughs> yes. He will still be in his pajamas. <laughs> are you gonna? Are you gonna come here? Yeah. 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 Gonna, we're gonna. We're, well, we should. It's sometime between now and then. We should stop at a store and find some old sports games. Sure. Yeah, we should figure out what we're playing. But, yeah. But I'll see they're, you this week. Unfortunately, they're, they're almost all dirt cheap. You get the yeah. ones that are a few years old. Exactly. Exactly. No, well, well I'll talk to you about it because, you know, we have to figure out what we're shooting this week anyway. So. Yeah. All right. So. so okay. It has been fun, everybody. Mm -hmm. I, I can't think of a good joke time to end the stream, so I'm just going to end it.